Hey, hey, what's up, guys? I've got another ESP8266 project for you today. This is a super simple one. Again, we're using the Wemos D1, but if you look here on the chip, you can see it is an ESP8266 module. What we're going to do today is control basically anything in your house from the internet. And really, I mean, that's why you bought an ESP8266 so that you can turn things on and off from a different place. Now, and what we're going to do today is we are going to turn on and off a relay. You know what? I had it the right way up the first time, didn't I? There we go. Let's zoom in here so you can get a better look at this relay we're using. So this is a Songle relay. They're very popular on eBay. You can find them just about anywhere. It'll control up to 10 amps at 250 volts AC or 10 amps, 125 volt AC. So good in the U S good in Europe, 10 amps, 30 volt DC. So that's pretty nice. This is the SRD five VDC SL dash C. And it's got three contacts in the center is your common on the right here is your normally closed and on the left here is your normally open. So when you activate the relay, your normally closed opens and your normally open closes. So if you want something that's normally off that you want to be able to turn it on, you plug it into the open and the common. Now the hookup here is really simple. It's only three pins, signal, positive, and negative. We have signal going to pin D5 on our ESP8266 board and five volts and ground. Whoa, sorry about that. That's it. That's the entire hookup. So you could plug a light into this, a motor into this, um, a fan, a heater, you know, air conditioner, whatever you want and control it over the internet. Let's go take a look at the super simple code for this. I think you'll be impressed. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the code here for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi relay control. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a web server. So the first thing you're going to need to do is include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Oh, I did it again. Wi-Fi library. Wow. Then we're going to have constant character array called SSID, which you're going to need to populate with, with your SSID. And that, of course, is the name of your Wi-Fi network. Another constant character array called password, which you need to populate with your password. Then, since this sketch was originally for turning on and off an LED, you're going to create an integer variable called LED pin. And it connects to D5 on your ESP8266. We're going to create the Wi-Fi server called server on port number 80. In our setup, we're going to begin serial so that we can get some feedback for what's going on. Very useful in debugging. Then a delay of 10 milliseconds to let the serial actually begin. Pin mode LED pin, we're going to set it for output. And we're going to make sure it's turned off. Next, we'll connect to the Wi-Fi network. Let's get a couple lines here and we'll say connecting to our SSID and we'll do Wi-Fi.begin with the arguments of SSID and password which we specified up here. Now we'll say while Wi-Fi status does not equal WL connected we'll wait a half a second and print a period. Then when it does say connected when we drop out of this while loop here We'll print another blank line and we'll say 
serial print Wi-Fi connected. Then we'll start the server, server.begin. And we'll give us a little bit of feedback, serial print line, server started. And we'll print out the IP address because you're going to need to know this. So serial print use this URL. Serial print HTTP colon slash slash serial print Wi-Fi local IP function. And you can use that to get what the IP address of your ESP8266 board is. Whether you're running um, the node or the Wemos or just a bare bones ESP8266. And then a slash. Now our main loop. We're going to check to see if anybody is connected. So we'll say Wi-Fi client. Client equals server dot available. So if not client, if nobody's connected, then we just wait. Then we wait for the client to send data. So when somebody connects, it will say new client. And then what you're going to say while not client available when nothing's happening we'll wait and when we're not waiting we're going to read the line of the request string variable request equals client read string until we get a carriage return and then we will print out the request to our serial monitor and flush the client because we don't want any client turds rolling around in our TCP IP stack now we'll match the request We'll create an integer variable called value and set it for low. And we'll say if request index of LED on does not equal minus one, which means it equals one, then digital write LED pin high and we'll set value for high. And then we'll say if request of index post LED off does not equal minus one, digital write LED pin low and set our value for low. Then we have to do some HTTP stuff that I don't particularly understand, but we'll print out a bunch of crap here and we'll say the LED pin is now low. And then we'll change what it prints on the screen. If value equals high, then we print on. And if value equals low, then we print off more HTTP mumbo jumbo. Wait a millisecond. Serial print line client disconnected and serial print line nothing. That's it. Let's go play with it. All right, we've got everything powered up and ready here. Here's our Wemos. You can see the LED is powered on. There's our relay. And what I've got hooked up to it is a 12 volt uh, automotive bulb. I've got the power from my benchtop power supply, supplying 13 and a half volts coming in to the bulb. Then I've got the ground side being split up through the normally open contact there on the relay. Now here is my phone. You can see we have connected to the web page address and top button click here to turn relay on, bottom button click here to turn relay off. So let's turn it on and you can see it says now LED pin is now on and click here to turn relay off and you can see the bulb is lit and now it's off. So you could put pretty much whatever you want through here. I mean, this is obviously DC, but you could put an AC light here, you know, just, um, well, if you don't know how to do that, I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to be responsible for you burning down your house. Um, but yeah, a motor, pretty much whatever you want. The relay separates the Wemos from the high current. So we're all good. And if we look down here onto this relay module, 
you'll see we have a diode here protecting us from any back EMF. So, that's it. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to turn it on again. On. And off. You can run this. I'm running it through my local network. You could run this on the internet simply by setting up a DMZ on your firewall. No big deal there. Just uh, if you don't know how to do that, Google DMZ or tunneling and firewall and you'll be good to go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.